In this video, I'm going to show how to paint green marble using a couple simple techniques such as sponging and glazing. This technique can be used for both painting smaller details, such as the shoulder on this Emperor's Children Marine, as well as larger models too, as I did the entire Titan here in the same pattern. To start with, I sponge on some Caribbean blue over a black undercoat. I find using the sponge technique here really helps to give the marble a mottled and more natural appearance and is a great base coat to build up the rest of our marble look. Next, I sketch out some very rough diagonal lines using a fine brush and a mixture of white ink and white paint. I do this here as if you look at marble, mostly it has these mineral veins in it, which kind of run diagonally across the marble and add to its appearance. And I use the mixture of white ink and white paint here as I found that it just flows easier from the brush than just paint itself, but still has a little more opacity than pure ink. So you get these kind of easy to paint on lines that don't take a ton of work, just a little bit of patience. I apply this white paint and ink mixture a couple of times here to really build up the opacity and to provide a nice striking white marble vein. You don't have to paint over the entire vein each time though, as a little bit of variation here goes a long way to look more natural. At this point, you can kind of start to see how the marble is going to look, but it's fairly flat and doesn't have the richness that I kind of associate with natural marble. So to fix this, I start by applying a number of layers of thinned down green ink over the entire shoulder pads. Now, I apply this mixture through an airbrush, but there's no reason you can't do it without one if you don't like airbrushing or don't have access to one. If you do though, just make sure you apply this thin down ink mixture in very thin layers and don't allow it to pool, as well as let it fully dry between applications. One of the keys here though, is that I actually alternate between putting down ink layers and adding on either more sponging effects or more of my veins I created before. This helps to add a certain depth to the model as every kind of layer of ink deepens and richens the color, and each layer of sponging and white ink ups the kind of veins or the details. So you get this interesting modeled and multi-layered appearance as you're literally painting on different layers of the model. This back and forth goes on a couple of times. Um, I think in this case, I sponged on one additional time and painted on the veins twice more. And then I applied probably three to four more layers of green ink afterwards until I got a very nice green color I was happy with. We are almost done at this point, and you can absolutely stop here if you're happy with the result. There are two more secret steps that I do that I think really push the color of the marble to the next level and make it eye popping from across the table. The first of these is I apply an extremely thin down layer of chestnut ink over the entire piece. I'm not exactly sure why, but I found that chestnut ink over green really makes the green pop and adds a nice eye catching appearance to your finished model. This layer is extremely thin though, and I'd say probably one part ink to 10 parts thinner. You don't want to actually see the chestnut ink, just tint the green underneath it. For the final step, I apply some thinned down blue ink into the shadows. I do this just to add a little more color contrast to the model and to make it a little more visually interesting as you get this nice interplay between the green and the blue across the entire piece. So that's pretty much it though. Um, these two shoulder pads took me about 16 minutes to do. So while it's not the most kind of difficult process to get marble, it's definitely not the least time consuming one either. As said at the beginning of the video though, you can scale this process up to any size model as I did with my Warlord Titan I showed off before for AT. And you can also use the same technique for different colors as well. Um, just to change out the Caribbean blue with a different color, say some kind of lighter red or orange if you want to do red marble, and then change out the ink for the corresponding color ink you want to do as well, obviously. If you found this video helpful and enjoy these kind of quick tip videos that I'm putting together, Please leave a comment below and let me know, one, that you liked it, and two, what kind of things you'd like to see in the future. Um, I'm always looking for more content ideas, and I've found the best ideas come from you, my viewers. So please let me know. As always, thanks for watching, and hobby on.